has seen more Marvel I'm movies sure. than you have. Yes. yes. You know, the funny thing is, my, even my kids get a little skittish when they're watching my movies. So there was this movie called Koila, which was coming on, on, the, uh, on the TV. And I was just leaving out to go out to get something. And they were watching it. And when I came back, the kids had gone for their swim lesson. And on the computer, I saw this little note hanging. Because when I left, the song was going on where I eat bang and I get, you know, a little high and we sing bum chicka bum, some song going on. So uh, I came back home and I saw this little note. And I said, what is this? So I started reading it and it was like written, dear mom, why are you acting so weird in this movie? <laughs> Love, Arin. <laughs> So my son had written me a little note. Say, why are you acting so funny and weird in this movie? So you've never actually sat down and you know, said, okay, let's all sit together and let's get some pizza and watch a Madhuri movie. No, no. I, I think it's, it's not me. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to watch my own movie with my own family. And, you know, for me, I want to spend time with them, just talking to them, playing with them, and, you know, there are other things to do. And are they, how are they adjusting to the fact? Because they would have also grown up the first few years of their life with you being completely anonymous and now suddenly back here you're not anonymous anymore so how are they dealing with that transition it must be a big transition for them as well yeah i mean it's a transition but i think the the kids they chilled out because initial uh, you know years of their lives they just know me as their mom and you know uh, they just know me as someone who takes care of them and does everything for them and now suddenly there's this other identity so when they were little, they used to get a little frazzled with, you know, people shoving the cameras in my face and trying to take pictures and all that. But now they have fun with it. Like they'll go and, you know, they'll be like, they'll come in front of me, they'll photobomb me and stuff like that, you know, when somebody else is clicking. So they have fun with it, fun with it now. But uh, initially, yes, it was a little odd because they used to go to school and my son came home one day and says, why is everybody asking me what's your mom's name? You know, and or sometimes they say, is she your mom? They know she, you are my mom. Why do they come and ask me, is she your mom? You know, those kind of things. And uh, my little one was like seven years old and he got, Yo, did you know your mom is a big star? You know, somebody said that to him in school. He came, comes home and he says, but mom, you're a mom, right? You're my mom. I said, yeah, of course I'm your mom. You know, so they've gone through those little cycles, but now they're fine. Are so you still getting the chance to do more normal type things like ever taking them to a shop or cooking and all of that stuff which they're used to seeing you do? Uh, well, uh, it's so a little now. less in Mumbai because you know, uh, you have cooks here who cook for you and I have mine since the past, I don't know how many years, 25 years. But, uh, but we still have fun. Of course, we go out for movies and you know, we do the other stuff. That but Transformer movies or that sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> more cartoon. like superhero Superheroes, movies. Suicide yes. Squad. Iron yeah. Man and, you know, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I know how it is. So, all right, let me just ask you one question. Internet rumor, I'm just going to go and see whether this is true or not true. Is it true that the first date you took her for was mountain biking and you almost made her go down a it, hill? It was, it was. Mountain biking? I mean, Ram, seriously? I, I, Why? I, I had no idea. I think that the, the thing was I grew up doing everything, surfing, biking, hiking, you know, mountain. You know, he didn't realize that in India, the sports yeah. is not a big thing, you know. Like, for us, biking is like, huh, bike, bicycle or, you know, you're just going in your streets, la, 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 you know, and that's it, you biked. And when he said, uh, you know, for the first time, he asked me, uh, would you like to go mountain biking? So I hadn't sat on a bike since 20 years, maybe more, and I'm like, uh, yeah, why not? Because I just thought it'll be a mountain and I just cruising down, you know, coming down the road and, you know, I said, yeah, of course, let's go. And then he bought me these shorts, which were like padded and all. And I'm like, oh my God, what is this? And once I went on there, I was like, wow, am I really doing this? And we came down the slope, which was so, you know, full of rocks. And because of my ego, I couldn't say that I've not done this before, you know, I'm not going to do it. And I'm like, I'm coming down that slope, you know, holding onto that bike for my dear life. And I look back and I say, ah, did I just do that? And um, after a while, like, we were in the mountain for 45 minutes, one hour. And there was this one little place where I said, you know what? I can't do this. <laughs> and he said, what do you mean you can't do this? I said, this is the first time I'm mountain biking. And we both started laughing. And he's like, really? You've never done this before? And I said, no, I'm sorry. 
And you didn't think that perhaps a candlelight dinner at some restaurant might make more... Oh, we did that That's later. him. He we wants to like jump off some bridge and, you know, nah, do mountain biking and jump off an airplane and, you know, that's, you know, that's fun a, for him. You know, as a heart surgeon, you see death in front of you every day and you don't take life for granted. You do everything to its fullest. And the idea was that you go and race Formula Ones, you go and bungee jump, you skydive, you surf, you do everything you can and you want everyone around you to live life that way. And so for me, it's a little different. And with her, I took all the precautions. I had a fully suspended Gary Fisher, and I even brought these like really tight padded pants. And I thought for sure her mom would throw me out because in India, when my grandma's days and my, my parents, they're like, you know, old girls always wear their knee length skirts and all that. And um, she was fine with them. She's like, Bombay has changed. And she was comfortable. But I must say that I carried the bike more than she rode it because it was a very <laughs> technical ride and there were a lot of boulders and things and I didn't know it was behind her brother's uh, house in Irvine and Ur Aliso Viejo and I didn't know how tough of a ride it was but I, I was okay and I figured she, was she fine. would be. He was just cruising along and I yeah. was like, ah, oh, you know, I was like really. Okay, so that was an internet rumor to him. Internet rumor for you. Is it true that one of the first things that really uh, the, one of the reasons you married him was because of his cooking skills. Is that true? Well, yeah, that's partially true. First of all, when I met him, he didn't know who I was. That was the most refreshing thing. Because whenever I meet Is people... He, then does he get a chance to still cook? Oh, and yeah, he, he loves really to well? cook. He, he just loves to cook. And I think I started cooking only after marriage. And a lot of the cooking that I do, I learned from him. Uh, because he's a... Great cook. He can do things from scratch, like whether it's Italian or whether it's, whether it's uh, you know, barbecuing and, you know, everything I've learned from him. So, um, I think the key is I'm a foodie <laughs> and I love to eat. And India has amazing food. And yeah. so coming here was like a breath of fresh air. I can never come close to my mother-in-law or my mother or my cook in terms of cooking prowess. But for me, it's, it's almost, you know spiritual in how you create things and it's a way of showing love right and that may be something else that an app can come up with well we're working on a show <laughs> yeah. See, here you are yeah. all your plans for the next 10 years are going to be revealed are you thinking going back to the u.s at any point <laughs> us now so we are prepared for it any no. thoughts of going back at all or not no yet. not yet okay um just looking at uh, before i toss it open to the audience um when you're looking at the Hindi film industry, how do you see that evolving right now? Obviously, there are lots of good stories that are coming up, yes. uh, and, 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 that, and that's, that, that's one of the big trends that you're seeing right now. What are the other trends that are really catching your eye? Yeah, first of all, uh, you know, it's very disciplined now. Uh, films are made within time. Uh, everybody's on time. The discipline is there, which is fantastic. Uh, different stories are being made. It's not just about song and dances. They do have a thread, you know, of story running through it. They're trying different subjects. You see so many different films now, uh, which is wonderful. And the audience is accepting all that because films are doing well. Films like Dangal, which was a very good movie, that did well. Um, I see a lot of women taking, for, you know, uh, coming at the forefront, producing their own movies, and which is wonderful. So uh, I think it's moving in the right direction. One of the things that uh, is a disappointment to many people, and, and I was once uh, interviewing Shah Rukh, and he had actually was, this was many years back, almost eight, nine years back, and he was referring to you and saying how somebody as talented as you and others, will f in India we are still not making as many films for female stars who are slightly older, not in their 20s. We would, which you do in, in the West, which you do in Hollywood. I mean, look at the sort of movies that are made for someone like Meryl Streep. Now, you can be as talented as you want, but not that many movies are being made in India right now. But I that think that's changing, that's changing too. That's changing too. That's from my experience in the past two years. I've been hearing scripts and I've been meeting people. And, uh, you know, the mindset of the audience is changing slowly. You know, change always takes time. It is not going to happen overnight. But I do see a change. I see writers who are writing, you know, uh, women-oriented. Not oriented, but I would say... The woman's role is more than just, you know, a mom or, um, you know, um, someone who's avenging something or someone who um, is a victim. I think they are going out there and looking at the world and seeing the women's role change in the society. 
because today she's not just a mother, she is also a career maker, she's looking after the kids, uh, she has her own home, she has her uh, in-laws or her own parents to look after, and there's so many hats she's wearing. And people are taking cognizance of that now. And slowly, I see a little more scripts coming in which have uh, the woman in, in, in a much more enticing kind of role than... Hey, I, I gotta make one comment. Um, we've been to LA about six times in the last six months, working on projects there and here. I think you bring up a very good point that digital is changing how people perceive film and everything else. Life imitates art and art imitates life, but in India we're stuck in neutral and that's changing. In the US, if you see Netflix and Amazon and some of the projects they're coming with, they're taking chances because they no longer have to subscribe to the commercial whims of the consumer and everyone else. Instead, they're looking for subscription bases. And so what they're talking about is talent floats to the top. If you have a talented actor or actress, it doesn't matter whether they're black, white, old, young, it, that's not relevant. What's relevant is the stories that are being written. And I see with digital and with India, that will change very, very dramatically. Yeah, so taking that point forward, so Madhuri, we are, we are seeing you now, we've been seeing you on the small screen, which is television, and on the tiny screen, which is the app. So do we see you again on the big screen if there are really good roles yes, that are coming? definitely, definitely. And there are those possible roles that will yes. interest you and, and, and catch up. Absolutely, your absolutely. One of the other big debates that I've been hearing about in recent times is this entire question of whether the, the Hindi film industry is only meant for people who are well-connected and are star kids. Now, you were not, at, and even at, this debate has raged actually for decades. You were not a star kid, you came inside. Is it easier or tougher for somebody outside the film industry to get a break in? I don't know if it's tougher or easier, but I think if you're from the industry, you know how it works. Because you've seen your parents, you, you know, uh, go through the emotions. You've seen how, uh, uh, you know, the whole industry works. When you're from the outside, you don't know how it works. So first you have to discover how the industry works, and then you have to make your contacts, and um, even after you've done one film, you have to keep, you know, doing film after film after to show that you have it, you can do it, you know. Uh, so it's a little difficult to be an outsider and come into the industry and make a name for yourself. Um, but I think even for the star kids, it's hard because, you know, they are under scrutiny all the time. And they are scrutinized in a much tougher way than what an outsider might come and do, you know. So uh, you might be a little kind to an outsider, but with a star industry kid, you will be like a little more harsh saying that, oh, he's so-and-so's son, why can't he act in the first movie itself? You want him to be like a star. So I think both things are difficult to do, you know. Uh, they have their own difficulties and they, they have their own plus or minuses. What do you think? All right, on that note, let me turn to the audience and see who has a question. Yeah, the gentleman there. Madhuri, your basis has been uh, your uh, grounding in Kathak. And, uh, some of the films we've seen have had excellent Kathak numbers, but song and dance in film also is an extension of acting and storytelling. And can you recall one or two of the most uh, Kathak-based songs which helped you in furthering a story and really enjoying all your, your parhans and your uh, uh, chakardars and all that, and at the same time, like in Pakiza that uh, your husband mentioned, one or two instances where you thoroughly enjoyed uh, using your grounding in Kathak to narrate a story. Um, he's trying to ask you any songs that you can think of where you were really able to use that grounding in Kathak. Oh yes, absolutely. Kahe Cher Chhede Mohe from Devdas, because that was done by Maharaji. He had choreographed it, and it was very, very pure Kathak. There was no uh, filminess to it. I would say Mar Dala was a little more Bollywood, but Kahe Cher Chhede Mohe was very Kathak and I really loved doing that song. No, I also meant uh, songs that helped you in storytelling. Uh, which songs really helped you, you know, in all, all, the, all the moves in Kathak are based on symbols which mean something. Yes. Like this, this thing or, or that, uh, the pizza thing that you told me. <laughs> yeah. How does the knowledge and the language of Kathak translate into storytelling in Indian films? Well, um, when you dance in a film, it is not necessarily taking forward the story. Sometimes it's just the emotion that you are in and you're trying to convey that emotion. Like Mar Dala was one such song where it's all emotion. 
she loves this man but she knows that he doesn't love her back but she still she's like meera she still adores him and um, so the expressions that will come they for me they're rooted in my classical learning and whatever expressions i wear whether it's humko aaj kal hai intezar which a folk song it's a folk song but how do i express with the eyes with the eyebrows or with with just the muscles of your face with your smile how do you convey your feelings through your eyes all that i've learned because i've learned kathak and there's abhinay which is a big part of learning kathak and because of that abhinay i can um bring that element into any bollywood song hi uh, madhuri okay, so can i can i just ask, you know so sort of follow up question to that i'm sure many people have asked you which was your favorite film which you have done and i'm not going to ask you that question instead i'm going to ask you which is your favorite dance that you've ever done on screen was there so many dances which um, i love but like i said kahe chhed chhed mohe is one of my favorite dances that i've done but in a more like a bollywood style or a style which was different which was beautiful i think was humko aaj kal hai intezar because for the first time the lady is not singing all the lines she's expressing the lines and the leading lady is just singing the chorus in the in the music and i think saroji has done a marvelous job just the way she's taken the shots the dance movements we kept a little bit of folk and yet we kept a little bit of the longing that the young girl has she's waiting for her love and you know those those emotions which came off beautifully i think in that song hi okay, uh, time for one more madhuri madhuri aapke left mein pura left aapke aur aage aa jata hu hi mera sawal hai ki abhi haal hi mein aapke hi gaane tamma tamma ko recreate kiya gaya और आजकल ये चलन भी काफी हो चला है तो इस चलन को कैसे देखती हैं आपकी पुराने गानों को रिक्रिएट किया जा रहा है जो कि एवरग्रीन होते हैं और आपका क्या इस पे कहना है वेल आई शुड हैव सेड दैट व्हेन आपने जब क्वेश्चन पूछा मुझे कि डू पीपल स्टिल लाइक दैट क्योंकि आजकल ट्रेंड इज चेंजिंग तो दैट इटसेल्फ प्रूव्स दैट यू नो पीपल स्टिल रिमेंबर दोस सॉन्ग्स उन्हें फिर वो गाने लाने हैं वापस बिकॉज़ दे आर स्टिल इमोशनली अटैच्ड टू द सॉन्ग्स एंड दे नो दैट व्हेन पीपल हियर इट पीपल आर गोइंग टू यू नो वांट टू सी द सॉन्ग so um, yeah. so that kind of asks okay one more question uh, hello, hello, hello hello okay fine you then uh, madhuri ji aapne aapke daur mein ek se ek back to back hit filmein di hain aur aaj 20 25 saal baad ye jo daur hai to cinema mein kitna badlav hua hai ye writing level par direction level par performance level par ya audience level par kyunki us samay single theater the aaj multiplex se to audience bhi badli hai to kya badlav mehsoos karti hain aap बस बदलाव ये है कि पहले फिल्में अलग तरीके से बनती थी आज एक सिस्टम बनी है जहाँ पे ज़्यादा डिसिप्लिन है आपके जो स्क्रिप्ट्स रेडी रहते हैं आपको पूरा बाउंड स्क्रिप्ट मिलता है फिल्म शुरू होने से पहले आपके डायलॉग्स आपका लुक आप किस सीन में क्या पहनने वाले हैं क्या लुक होगा आपका एवरीथिंग इज़ वर्कड आउट तो एन एक्टर के लिए इजी हो जाता है कि उन्हें सिर्फ कंसंट्रेट करना है उनके परफॉर्मेंस पे वन शी इज ऑन द सेट तो दैट्स अ फैंटास्टिक थिंग दैट हैज हैपन एंड ऑफ ऑफ कोर्स इतने सारे पीवीआर थिएटर्स आए हैं देर आर सो मेनी स्टिल वी हैव सिंगल थिएटर्स वी स्टिल हैव मल्टीप्लेक्सेस तो अगर किसी को एक फिल्म बनानी है तो वो प्लान कर सकते हैं कौन से ऑडियंस को टारगेट करनी है तो अगर एक नीश ऑडियंस के लिए आप फिल्म बना रहे हैं तो उस हिसाब से आप बजट कर सकते हैं अपनी फिल्म और एक नीश ऑडियंस के लिए वो फिल्म बना सकते हैं और वैसी मार्केटिंग होती है फिल्म की तो आज ब्रॉडर बेस पे आप अलग अलग तरीके की फिल्म्स आप बना सकते हैं और प्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं द सॉन्ग पहला पहला प्यार है फ्रॉम हम आपके हेड कौन इज द मोस्ट रोमांटिक सॉन्ग एवर सो टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट यू रियल लाइफ पहला पहला प्यार हाउ यू मेड सीजम लेने वेल आई कैन टेल यू माय पहला पहला प्यार वाज पहले पहले ऑन द बाइक यू हर्ड द स्टोरी यस सो इट वाज नॉट सच अ स्मूथ लाइक ला 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 टाइप्स बट या यू नो इमोशंस आर समथिंग दैट एज एन एक्ट्रेस लाइक यू फील सो मेनी इमोशंस राइट Uh, when you are relaying that on screen somewhere it's a pretend emotion but when it happens in real life i think the impact is uh, much more than what you have imagined like when i did pehla pehla pyar hai i had imagined that ki ye meri ye
feeling hogi when it's pehla pehla pyar and i'm dancing but when it actually happens it just hits you like a ton of bricks you know it's a different experience sounds like a dialogue from dil to pagal hai right now yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay last question the lady thank there. you so much vikram uh, i appreciate that i always get the last question so uh, madhuri big big fan but i'm really impressed and very happy that you got dr shri ram nene here and my question is to you sir um you spoke about an app that i didn't get the name of earlier that connects wearable devices to uh, the cloud platform and probably tracks them but it seems to me that it's still an individual tracking their movements and i was wondering if in the larger plan you have um, some sort of a community sharing of um, the their fitbits or their whatever the wearable devices are to sort of have a state wise competition or um, basically just have uh, the fitness level of india going up by having competitions between districts or schools or is that on the on the cards yeah so it's a great comment to make basically what you're saying is that rather than make it me you make it we and we have fundamentally incorporated some of that in one of the things that we're doing but the idea is simple that even with our existing apps for dance everything is socialized and if you see today with facebook twitter all of these things you're bringing the the community together and so when i'm doing something you see it and you get pushed to doing the same thing and similarly when when i'm not doing something that i should be doing you also see it and so the the bigger problem for me is that's fine in the middle class and the upper class in the metros how do you deal with the poorest of the poor and the 70% and you know these are the lessons which we're learning along the way with this particular ecosystem we built and there's a lot of work to be done to be very honest with you before we can really provide world class evidence based you know care but also education and other things <laughs>